what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we're gonna be opening the Transformers Netflix Soundwave and I have to thank Zero One Trans Fan and Max Ross Linden for sending this out because apparently he pitched in and uh, yeah this is pretty awesome. This is a different sound wave compared to the Siege one while it does have a lot of elements. It is in its earth form so that's pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of people wanted a Generation Soundwave that wanted to, or that transformed into the cassette mode. Some people tried to make it into the cassette mode and it just didn't really work out or it just kind of looked weird. But this is the cassette mode version of Soundwave. Yay! So let's go ahead and open it from the bottom here. Like so. And uh, it was kind of weird seeing this in... The Netflix line. In fact, some of the figures are kind of weird because you just don't really expect them to show up. And what I mean by that is... <laughs> Let me try that again. What I was trying to say, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by opening this, is a lot of them are, are pretty heavy remolds of other figures. And some of them are big names. Oh, that lamp just fell. This is already going so well. <laughs> Um, some of them are big names as well, so you don't really expect them to show up in an exclusive line. You expect them in the main line, but no, they're exclusives. There, I got that sentence down. <laughs> I know it was tricky, but I got it. All right, so we got that nice Decepticon backdrop. Kind of wish it was purple, but whatever. And then we got Soundwave with his little cassette buddies. He's also got Ravage and Soundwave, which I think he could just pop out. Yep, like so. So I think this is the first one to come with MicroMasters as well. But uh, let's see, can his weapons just pop out too? He's got the same exact weapons that the original Soundwave does, so he's got this gun thing which people keep telling me, no, that's meant to be Megatron, or based on Megatron, or the back of Megatron, and it's like, it just looks kind of lame. I mean, I kind of get it, but I don't know, I don't really see it so much. I guess because it's got that little tick and then the barrel, but I don't know. It just feels like a, a kind of a stretch. Um, oh, I'm not seeing any twisties, so... Oh, he just popped right out. Okay, cool. <laughs> and there is Soundwave. There he is. Very nice. It doesn't come with the Sound Blaster version chest, so his torso... Why won't those come out? Oh, God. Those are tight. Come on. That just popped. There we go. I couldn't get the shoulders out. It's, it's so tight. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Okay, so the chest is not the Sound Blaster version. It does open up wider, or at least it looks like it. But it's not the Sound Blaster version, so you can't fit both of these, but you can fit one of them. So at least that's good. Still tight in there. In fact, it's not even closing anymore. It's kind of weird. There we go. There we are. There's Laser Beak in his chest. A lot of red. Let's see how it is with the Ravage version. There we go. I think I like the Ravage a little bit more just because the color scheme doesn't clash with the toy. But uh, there's the sound wave. We gotta give him his weapons, of course. So he's got this little gun thing. I wish they painted in this section here. Or gave it a, a red line around it, but, uh, oh well. And we've got this little thing, if you want. Very nice, very awesome looking sound wave. It looks like these are even remolded, because I don't remember the arrows there. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I do like the battle marks on the Siege version. I still like the Siege version, but this is, uh, this is looking pretty good. So, of course, we got some cassettes to take a look at. I'm sorry I stopped. I just wanted to take a picture of that pose because that looks pretty awesome. So, you do have pegs on the MicroMasters, and I keep dropping them. You do have pegs so you can attach them to the sides, but that's kind of lame. Uh, I'm going to start off with Laser Beak. He's the only one with an actual remolded part. And we're going to take up the head. That is an awesome looking head I could already see. Yeah, that's the proper laser beak right there. I know the camera keeps going blurry, but that's a proper laser beak. Nice Decepticon logo on the top of the head. Hopefully that's not a sticker. But yeah, I definitely like that. And of course, we bring out the wings and bring this section up. That actually clicked into place. And uh, there he is. 
No gunners on the top, but that's fine. A little too much red on the body, but I really do like that. I also like the colors on the, uh, on the actual cassette wings itself. Yeah, very, very nice. So then he's got the little hooks so you can plug him onto Soundwave's arm if you want. But I want to transform Ravage, so I'll do that. Uh, let's see if I can figure this one out. It's a fiddly transformation. And considering that a lot of these joints seem to be super tight for some reason, uh, this is probably going to be a nightmare. <laughs> but I needed a new Ravage anyways. Uh, let's see. Just trying to transform it based on memory. Which is not always the best thing for me, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying to flip up the head. Uh, using the peg. Alright, so we got this so far. And, uh... Actually, I believe I have to close that up again to get it past the waist. I do not like transforming Ravage. I think Ravage is probably one of the worst Micromasters to come out. Uh, that's supposed to come up. Yeah, there we go. Then, okay, now I'm going to try and bring down the legs. They come in through here. It's just a very fiddly transformation, and then the result is kind of weird, too. Hey, I got it! I got Ravage! Yay, Ravage! There he is! He pretty much looks the same. Kind of wish they came with Hal back, but I guess if you're going for the classic characters, I guess you might as well go for Ravage. So there's Laser Beacon Ravage! Kind of wish it was Buzzsaw and Hal back. That would have been nice. Let's go ahead and transform Soundwave. Although you wouldn't have gotten that bird head, so I guess it all makes sense. Uh, gonna take off the weapons. And let's see how this does. Okay, that just slides off. And, oh, that head with the red eyes look very nice. Gonna open up the instructions. We're gonna take a look at the cassette mode. All right, so the first thing you want to do is fold up the arms like so. And then the entire torso rotates around. So you got the proper thing going on here. And then what's next? You're going to open this back compartment up, which is completely different compared to the original sound wave and close that up i imagine that the batteries will be going on there it also still has those little blast laser things at the bottom here for some reason it doesn't have the same alt mode i guess you can try and change it into the original alt mode i don't think it's going to be that tricky to do so anyways so now we got that uh the arms will rotate outward like this and then these will fold back around so I guess you can't plug it into the alt mode. And uh, all this will connect into here. So you got the tabbing section right there. Feels kind of weird that it's got a section for those batteries to go into, but uh, you can't do that. And I can't get this tab to go in. I don't want to push too hard on the chest because it's all clear plastic. And then all that will combine like so. So I guess there is a purpose for those. Uh, let's see. So we got that. Uh, let's see. What else do we have to do? Okay, so we open up the feet compartment. Uh, which way does it go again? I can't remember. I've totally blanked out. It goes this way, doesn't it not? Yes, okay, it was just tight. There we go. And then we somehow bring this up. Oh, there we go. A lot of these joints are too tight for some reason like they they got stuck or something oh does that slide out I felt like it just slid i don't know but that clicks into place and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side like so bring this up no there is no sliding joint so hopefully i didn't just snap it uh let's see flip that up and close that around and this will Kind of click over that. Yeah, not sure how I feel about that, but uh, okay. So, what's next for the transformation? We're going to rotate the legs like that, bring them up, even though it seems like there's a, an extra step, yeah, right here that we have to do. Okay, we do that after, apparently. Uh, then we flip these up, and these gold tabs that they continue through will tab into place on the side there so it's kind of weird that they painted a tab usually they don't do that 
but I guess they wanted to be nice. And then these will open up like so. And then that will all collapse into here somehow. Or will it just stick up like that? That doesn't look right. Oh no, it is. Okay. So that just tabs right into there. It doesn't really tab into well. But, oh, yeah it does. Okay. I just need to actually put it in. There we go. There's the cassette player alt mode. Then we turn it around and yes, okay, so there are proper ways to plug on the batteries. You plug them in like so. I think that this one has to push in a little further or something. Looks kind of weird, but whatever. It's in there. I swear it's in there. And then apparently this just goes right onto the back like so. And that looks a little lame. You could also, if you want, just plug it right here. Maybe bring this up and... Have some sort of antenna thing. I don't know. It's just dumb. But, uh, yeah. Ah, there we go. Plug that right on the back there. And, of course, you can put the little guys in their cassette modes. I'm curious if that's what's going on on the back. Yeah, that's what's going on on the back. But you can do that. You can do whatever you want because it's a cassette player and it looks so nice and lovely. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. We're going to put Laser Beacon Ravage right here just to complete the look. Very awesome. So, I thank you to Zero One Transfan and Max Russ Linden. I also thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And I will see you guys next time.